Hi there guys, welcome back to CNC Modeler. This is the uh, second episode in the Polar 3D printer. Uh, if you like my stuff, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps other people find me, as does liking the videos. If you like these videos, other people might too. Give it a thumbs up and they'll get prompted to have a look. And if you want to see my stuff when it turns up, then uh, hit that notification bell. You'll find out about it when it hits the streets. Now let's have a look at the model. Um, so what do we have here? So this is last week's um, uh, base basically. I think you could probably see from the thumbnail that we're going to be working on the base mostly this week. So what have we got? Well this is the old base and it was all a bit clunky and I wanted to get my head around it a bit more. So this weekend I've been doing a CAD for that. So if I uh, basically got rid of a load of that and uh, so I've decided to get a couple of these brackets and I'm going to do some just get the mounting a bit better really. So what am I going to use? I want to use some box steel. Uh, I've had some debate with people over the last few days about welding versus bolting. I'm going to go with bolting for now. Um, so these are the pieces of box steel that I've got. Uh, uh, 500 mil long, 100 mil by 50 mil by 3 mil wall. Um, so they're coming at the moment. If we go, um, let's just keep on going here. In fact, let's go back and do what I normally do. So, as you can see here, I'm going to put in some plates uh, to hold this. So, the idea is these plates um, bolt onto the, uh, the, I don't know what you call them, the, the brackets on the tops. So, these are the same brackets as I've used up here. They disappeared in the model. Um, I'll put them back in, in a bit, but they're basically the same brackets, but with holes drilled in the top, so I can bolt through. So I'll probably, I'm not sure whether I'll bolt all the way through this or whether I'll just bolt to these here. But you'll see as we go on, it comes together. Um, so we go through. So I've just mirrored that, so that we've got the same top and bottom. So you can see I put these blocks on the outside because I want to get the clamps as wide as possible. If I put them on the inside, it wouldn't be as rigid. Um, uh, so now I've put another section in on the end there. Uh, so the idea is, is these this will be a leg with feet underneath it. This will be uh, suspended to have a platter on it. And the idea is, is that well, kind of that this might spring and move but hopefully because the feet's here it won't disturb this as much so this piece will move if it does move more with the column and stay more in true rather than um, flexing with any sort of loads that come through the legs to the ground uh, so we'll see how that works i would would have preferred to actually independently mount this back to the tube but it just didn't didn't work so we'll see how that goes and then mirrored that one across as well. So now um, some tricky stuff. So I need to make sure that the axis of rotation of the plateau is perfectly aligned to these, like within a half a mil. Uh, the only I'm never going to be able to manufacture and assemble this to that that sort of tolerance. So I'm going to use a swash arrangement. Um, so basically, a swash is. Uh, I'm using a fixed central pivot to stop it sliding around but quite often if you see model helicopters they'll have three linkages and those three linkages go up through form a triangle if I keep going to the plate above now what I'm doing here is I've actually so if I get this so this center uh, can you see that so this is a BMW um, steering joint. Um, well, that's better. Um, and this, um, so what this does is the uh, steering control arm comes across here, and it's all, but it's a ball joint, so you can see. Well, it's quite stiff. You can see how it will move. Now, with a lot more, once you break out the stiction, it's not too bad. But you can see how that's going to hold this plate on centre line. It's going to hold all this on centre line, but allow it to pivot. So that's what we're using for there. 
and it's the big hole in the middle. So this will bolt through to the um, the box section underneath. And I'm not sure, I think I might need to do some reinforcing around here, but for now I'm just trying to get the general arrangement right. If we now carry on. So uh, this is just creating that piece. There you go. So there's the top part of the swash now. So that's the ball. And then as we come through, I'm going to put the um, pieces on. Uh, so these are just threaded bar, and the idea is you adjust these in and out, and it will, uh, you know, give you some relatively fine adjustment. Plus, I expect these plates will flex a little bit, so um, but it will still move this. Um, well, that's the idea. We'll see. This is all um, it's either 10 mil steel or 10 mil alley. These plates, um, probably steel. If, if I can find somewhere to get 10 mil steel water jet, then that's probably what I'll go with. Again, 10 mil because it's the number I've picked out of the air, and um, I don't know what, where, you know, what else to choose. Um, I might do fem in Fusion. Um, somebody did suggest that on one of the uh, YouTube channels, the YouTube um, 3D Printer Builders um, group, which is really good. Recommend you have a look uh, if you want. Uh, I'm sure we'll keep on going. So there's a nut to hold that onto the thing. And then now this is where it gets a bit more interesting. So I've got to put a, some form of packer over the top of that nut and that gets bolted down onto here. I might be able to show you. So, oh, it's not done it yet. Uh, or maybe I didn't put those holes in. Okay. Uh, let's just put that back on. So this is basically a bushing that allows me to bolt a shaft in the middle. So basically what have I got? I've got um, a shaft that comes up the middle with a packer, it's like a washer. This is a bearing, mock-up of a bearing. Then build myself up a yeah basically a this is a t5 by 10 pulley that i need to make up so i'm probably going to make this up in um three or four pieces see if i can get them laser cut so basically a solid outer upper and lower edge and a tooth middle piece that i'll maybe bolt together or glue together, just um, see how that goes. But I need this massive um, tooth belt arrangement to give me the gearing, to give me a reasonable fidelity on the edge of a 60 mil platter. Uh, if we keep going, so here's me just putting in some screws and that's the platter that's gone. So basically all the rigidities in here, um, I'm thinking just a 10 mil piece of acrylic might be enough. Um, I really don't know at the moment. That might not even be 10 mil, that might be 6 mil. Um, but there's no real load in this. It just needs to maintain its own weight and not flex. So I, I imagine that with that bolted down to a big pulley like that underneath, it should be fine. And then I might get again get this laser cut so there's loads of holes all over so I can bolt down my um, first layer to print on top of. Because obviously with this, it's really tricky to get any um, form of heated bed in there at all. Because you've got to get the wires up and all that sort of thing. So uh, concept is to print on top of a laser cut first layer uh, and see how that goes. So if I'm printing ABS, laser cut first layer of ABS and bolt it down. And so and all we're really into now. So... I'm not really quite sure how I'm going to mount the motor. Um, I imagine, well, if I need to keep it parallel, which I do with the pulley, then it needs to be mounted off here. Uh, but then I could fix mount it off of here because I don't think this is going to be that much out of alignment. Um, but I don't know. And um, I'm also not sure if I 
mount this on here, whether the torque reaction will try and twist that. So that's the torque reaction from the inertia, because obviously everything will be mounted on here, so there'll be no torque between the two, but the inertia of the table will cause torque because it's all on this upper plate. If I mount the motor fixed down here, the inertia will be reacted by the mass of the entire machine, not just this top plate. But I'm thinking this, this ball joint is pretty stiff and when it's all clamped up, I'm not thinking this is going to move very much. But I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so now all we're really looking at is tidying things up. So if I go back a couple of steps. Uh, so I wanted to, um, so as you can see, these legs come through. Um, I did think about putting these outer legs on the bottom here, but I didn't think that'd be stiff enough. And I've ordered enough steel that I can put some extra pieces down here. So we're going to put a foot at the front and probably just bolt the two pieces together. And then a turned piece at the back here. Um, so I'm going to keep going. That uh, can have a foot put in it. And then just got uh, some feet and bring those over and then just mirror that across to the other side of the machine. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, I think that's it really. So as you can see, that's this weekend's efforts. Um, I'm quite pleased with that. I think it'll be okay. Obviously the devil's in the detail. So I don't know whether bolting, just bolting this down on top of that piece of steel is going to be good enough. Um, I'm thinking maybe some um, bracings required. Uh, same in here. I don't know whether some bracings required in these corners. Uh, but that's what a prototype's for. In theory, the load, there isn't actually much load running through this, apart from its own mass. The only thing that really affects this is the, the inertia of the bed turning. So, in theory, I don't think it needs to be that stiff. It just needs to be stiff enough to hold itself in place. So, anyway, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I think that's it. So uh, there you go, that's the printer. Um, I'm also gonna upload a short video, uh, possibly tonight or later in the week about um, just mocking up a uh, uh, the Duet 3D board and all my drivers and all that sort of stuff. So they're all mounted to a piece of acrylic now, ready for me to start prototyping I was a bit concerned that if I try and just do it with bits all over the place I'm gonna end up shorting something out and cost myself a lot of money so I didn't want to do that so have a look at that video uh, like I said I might upload it to for this week or maybe for the weekend just as something to be going through then uh, thanks very much for watching if you do enjoy these videos please do uh, like them if you don't enjoy them please do you know do what you think is right um, I'd love to know any comments feedback on the design uh, please keep it constructive and um, yeah so drop those comments down below it's really good to hear from you guys um, it kind of makes me feel good about carrying on and doing this stuff so thanks for watching um, hopefully see you again next time please do uh, subscribe to the channel maybe I check out my website and uh, have a look at these other videos that are popping up now See you again, guys. Thanks very much. Cheers.